And there are still a lot of questions about what Kamala Harris will focus her campaign on. And she's gained a lot of momentum since entering the race, but she hasn't rolled out many policy decisions. Rebecca Castor explains how that could soon change. This campaign is not just about us versus Donald Trump. It is about two different visions for our nation. One, ours, focused on the future. The other, focused on the past. That's become the signature line in Vice President Kamala Harris's speeches on the campaign trail, where she says she's fighting for affordable health care, affordable child care and paid leave, a stronger economy, and lower cost of living. I will always, I promise you, put the middle class and working families first. Voters are starting to get an idea of the platform she's running on. But Harris is taking heat for not doing one sit-down interview since becoming the nominee. Can you commit to a press conference before the end of the month? We will commit to directly engage with the voters that are actually going to decide this election. You don't need an interview from Kamala Harris. I take her at her word that she wants to raise taxes for households over $100,000, that she wants to add a pharmaceutical tax and a health care tax. She thinks that illegal immigrants should be able to vote and be given driver's licenses. Since entering the race, there are several positions Harris has flipped on. She's no longer advocating for Medicare for all or a ban on fracking, ideas she supported as a senator. She's really a political chameleon, and the real question is whether Americans fall for this. The economy is taking center stage on the campaign trail this week. Later today, Donald Trump will talk taxes, tariffs, and trade, while Harris says she'll reveal her economic agenda on Friday. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.